We have a lot more to do, so I suggest we start with the now more easier part since we've done all the preparation parts. Um, uh, since we've done all, we've created a stable foundation, it's time to continue with the essential core mods and everything else. But downloading these mods is a lot easier than the stuff we just did with preparation and tools. So, first mod is unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, and this is a very nice mod. But I'm not going to explain a lot about these mods because else this tutorial would take way too long. If you want to know what every mod does, I suggest you start reading the description. But uh, only if there's something really worth uh, of telling, then I will do it. But else I'm just going to show you how to install all of these mods. Click on files and um, I would like to point out that I've did, I did download all the mods already. As you can see here. So I'm just going to show you what you need to download. And But I'm not going to download them all over again. Um, okay, a thing, a tip I can give you is become premium from, for Nexus mods and uh, it's not needed because you can download all the mods, but you have a little bit of limited speed. But if you become premium, it might be for just one month, it's only a couple of dollars, then you have full download speed and that's really handy if you're going to do this tutorial because there are some very large files where you need, um, yeah, either patience for long download times or if you're a premium member, you can just, uh, yeah, download them and the download process will go a lot faster. Anyway, download an unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch and I would say we're going to download all these mods first and then going to install them. So open them all up in a new tab. So cutting room floor has only one file, download it. A quality world map has actually a couple of options and let's see what I have. To be honest, I have no idea. Uh, I do have classic with all roads. So that's this one, classic with all roads. Then SkyUI, very important mod, probably one of the most important mods because it will drastically change the user interface to a more PC friendly one. And that's literally what it says here, right? Elegant PC friendly interface mod. Then download, make sure, download the SkyUI version, this one. Immersive HUD is a really cool mod because it will hide the HUD uh, when you're not needed for immersion, of course. Download the only file here. And random alternate starts, click on files and download this mod as well. Once you did download them, we can just simply go to add them. And that's by clicking on this icon, install a new mod from an archive. So we go to our new downloaded fresh mod, starting with unofficial Skyrim special edition patch. Click on manual and this is all good already. And I click on OK and let's wait a little bit until it's finished installing all right and then you want to activate the mods that's important and as you can see here also we have our first custom esp and that's from unofficial skyrim special edition patch so on the left side we do have our installed mods with our uh, installed textures and meshes and on the right side we will see if we if the mod comes with a plugin because not all mods comes with plugins especially not texture mods and overhauls so um, and we need to do some stuff with these plugins maybe later on but first of all let's Install the rest, which is cutting room floor as the second mod. Click manual. This is looking okay already. Then the third mod is a quality world map. Click manual. Okay, that's okay as well. We can activate it. The fourth mod is sky UI. Click manual, click on okay. And this goes pretty fast as you can see, as long as you know what you're doing and you install mods in the correct load order, which we're doing right now, because uh, yeah, I have a lot of experience with installing all of these mods, so don't worry, everything is going to be fine. Immersive HUD, click on this, click manual, and this is okay as well. Then activate the checkbox. And the last mod so far already is random alternate start. Click on manual and click on okay, and activate the mod. And as you can see, we have uh, now one, two, three, four, five uh, new ESPs. And um, what you're going to want to do now is start again Skyrim Special Edition always with SKSE 64. But now what you should see is a new, a, new, um, a new screen once you select start new game because now you will have a random alternate start. And this is really ideal to start testing in a new area. From there, you can now create a new save game because we can, you, pretty much uh, can spawn randomly somewhere without having to wait all the the entire freaking card sequence from a regular new game. You can just jump into the game immediately. And if you see that, 
new game screen, then that means everything works fine. And it means random alternate start works. And it's more important, it means that Skyrim script extender actually works. So start a new game. And if you have a new game with random alternate start, you are good to go. We are greatly doing. We're on a good way. And, and yeah, for that, I would say test that right now. And then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, once we've done the essential core mods, it's now time for the little bit of what we can call the foundation of our texturing and modding, the larger texture packs. What these larger texture packs will do is they will provide a texture foundation and on top of that, we're going to mod specific textures in the game. Um, I did include most of the large texture packs, which I'm also going to use for uh, for the for the full version of the Skyrim Special Edition um, uh, tutorial, but I think it's nice to have most of the textures covered because I did not include um, all of the detailed textures because else I couldn't uh, keep under the hundred mods. And um, for that, the large texture packs are important because it means all of it is actually covered. So that means even if we don't have all the specific texture mods which we're going to install later on that means at least we have everything covered and it won't bother us during gameplay so what we want to do now is we want to go by these large texture packs one by one because these are quite large literally in what they do and also in size so the first one here skyrim realistic overhaul it's also quite a large mod this is not on um this is not on uh, the Skyrim Nexus, so it means we need to go to this external side. Let me see, it's been a while since I did download something here. Okay, what you want to do is you want to download the part one, part two, and part three, and then you want to download the realistic overall 1.8 update. Do not use this one for original Skyrim. Um, uh, as you can see, do not use this with special edition. You want to have this one. So that means you want to download this first, then this second, etc. And that means once you install, once you did download that, it looks like this. As you can see, I number my mods. What you want to do is you want to go to your mod organizer. You want to click on add mod and you want to go to your larger texture mods. mods. And as you can see, these are quite large. So it could be that you are downloading for a couple of good minutes. And please be patient because these are the largest of the mods, these large texture packs. Anyway, start with the first part. And then uh, it might take a while until uh, mod organizers have has processed these larger files. But um, anyway, I'm going to name it the original file name in this case. You always want to check, as you can see here, when you click on manual, if the mod has been packed correctly and if mod organizer actually recognizes the mods correctly. But this time, in this case, it doesn't. So you want to right click on the data directory and set it correctly and then press OK. And this will probably take a little while, so we're going to wait for it. All right, once that finished, make sure you activate the first part. Do the same for part two. So I'm going to use its original file name, click manual, right click data and set data directory. Press OK, and we're going to wait for this part as well. OK, then also activate and select part three. Then do the same for the file name, click manual and set the data directory. And this one is a little bit smaller because the larger ones are over a couple of gigs. But anyway, let's just wait for this. Okay, um, then activate the mod. And what I do is, by the way, don't uh, don't be scared that my installation times are very fast because I pause the recording during waiting and stuff. But I, uh, yeah, I, you probably see it as it as it happens instantaneously. But it's not. I also need to wait for all the installation stuff. So don't worry. The last part from this uh, Skyrim realistic overall is the patch. So this is the patch for, um, let's see why it says actually original Skyrim version. And because I, <laughs> I did download this incorrectly, it seems pretty stupid by me. So one moment, let me download the version, which you should have this one. So not this one, one moment. Okay. So this should be the file then. Um, it should have this file name. So we want to, let's see, do that again. And we want to install the updates, then click on the drop down menu, click on manual, collapse this and set this as your data directory. And after this, that means we can now 
activate this last part, this update, and then we can close this large mod. So this is the first one uh, of, the, of these large texture mods. Uh, this is a little bit of an example. This is a Skyrim particle patch for EMB because we're going to use an EMB later. And let's see, uh, the explanation for this says, uh, is being written here. To be honest, I'm always a little bit confused with these particle patches and subsurface scattering patches, what they're actually doing. Um, but let's see if I can read it with you guys. Skyrim is quite a few, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so it will correct a couple of things. And um, for that, I did decide to download it. And this particle patch all in one installation is the one that you want. So it's a mega upload um, download. So you can download it here and we're going to add it as well. And that's this one, Skyrim particle patch for EMB. I correct the file name, click on manual, set to data directory, and it comes with an ESP as you can see. So with a plugin and this, here it is in a good example. When you click and activate the mod, now it's being actually installed. If you uncheck it, it's uh, being deactivated. So that means if you want to troubleshoot your Skyrim special edition, an example, if it something doesn't work and you're uh, suspecting a couple of mods, you can actually do this here as the last mod, but you can also do it in between. So if you uh, click on here, a quality world map, then let's see what, what does has a ESP. An example, the unofficial patch, if you would deactivate it, it could be done halfway. Uh, because this was one of the f first mods that we did install. However, if you reactivate it again, you have to be careful because it could be that sometimes the um, ESPs will be activated later in the load order. So be careful that you only do this if your Skyrim gets problems and you're suspecting some mods, but also make sure that your ESPs are put back in the correct order. And here you can see the priority number. So if you're uh, unsure, just remember the number or write it down somewhere before you deactivate the mod. And also here for the mods itself, they also have priority numbers and it's going to be real handy later on if we're going to need to search for specific mods. And um, yeah, but for now we only have a couple of them, so it's not really needed. Okay, so after this particle patch, we do have a larger mod, the Enhanced Textures Detail UV. Click on Files and Download the main file let's see if i have some other stuff here nope so only download the main file then go to mod organizer and we're going to add it here as well and it's a relatively large file not as large as the other ones and it comes with a faux mod i think so with a uh, options form but let's just check that yeah it does okay i correct the file name so um let's see what we want to do uh, if you don't take this option files, which don't conflict with SMIM will be shown and installed. This option... Well, let's just skip it. I mean, there are a lot of stuff which is going to be installed later on and it, um, it will surely override the stuff which normally would be static mesh and proof of mod conflicting. So don't check it. Now click next. Let's see. Um, textures on distant models won't... So this is the static, let's see, what should we do here? Um, if you take this install option, it will present you with full files. So let's see what the difference is. I don't see any difference to be honest, but anyway, let's not do this. And let's see what's being done here. Um, why no stone walls? Also, these stone walls are going to be replaced later on. Uh, let's see, static, this, oh, these are compatible, okay. And this says this is conflicting. So I want it all. Let's just, um, I want it all because these stone walls are going to be overwritten anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Then click on next or let's just pick no stone walls because it might cause some problems with the 3D models. Click next. Um, yeah, sure. Pick this SHD rocks, click next and these will also be replaced later on with other mods, but um, for now, sure, let's just pick them all. And yeah, sure, <laughs> let's let's install them all. Shouldn't matter that much um, if there are textures and meshes, because as I said, these are about to be replaced anyway. But we're going to see it when we're activating the mod and if we have an ESP file or not. So, and three, two, one, let's go. Here we go. No ESPs only. 
meshes and textures. Okay, that's fine. Should be fine. Uh, yeah, okay. That was uh, enhanced textures. Detail UV. Then static mesh improvement mod, a very important mod to have. Click on files. It's only one file. <clears throat> and it also comes with an options form, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of the most popular mods there is. Uh, I think it's actually in the top three most popular mods ever for Skyrim and Special Edition. So, let's check what this options form is. So, I correct the naming. Uh, let's see. We want everything. That's okay. And I click install. And that's it for static mesh improvement mod. Okay, and meanwhile, while it's finishing the installation, we want to install Runes Clutter Improved. Click on Files. Download the, let's see, the Nexus Map Manager installation. I think that's the version which I have as well. Don't forget to activate Static Mesh Improvement Mod. And I do have, yeah, the Nexus Map Manager edition, so download that version. And it also comes with an options form. Install everything. Because we can install everything. Great. And activate this mod as well. All right, we're um, we're on a good start. Next one is Blended Roads. It's a more easier mod than one of the other one of the many other road mods, which um, might interfere with other surroundings and textures. This one is uh, really cool. It looks really cool as well, in my opinion. So let's just use it. So we have Blended Roads, and let's see, because I might have downloaded more mods. No, I did not. Okay, that's great. In that case, just download uh, Blended Roads. I think this is for another mod, or if you use the really Blended Roads option, I think this is uh, also f um, an options form. Let's, let's check it. Yeah, it is. Okay, and here you can see, yeah, really Blended Roads. Um, I'm just gonna go with Blended Roads and a Static Mesh Improvement Mod Compatibility Patch for Blended Roads as well because we have just installed the Static Mesh Improvement Mod. I click on Install. <coughs> okay, then let's not forget to activate it. It actually comes with an ESP, that means it will alter some um, in-game environments. We always want to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, next mod is Skyland. Yep. And also a landscape texture overall and we are going to replace a lot of specific more textures later anyway but here you can see some of the default examples it also comes with roads it seems um does it i'm not sure what um, maybe this is just an example does it really matter anyway we're going to install <coughs> skyland and regarding this installation uh order i must credit uh, the Nordic Guide, and I've used a lot of these um, load order compatibility uh, order, um, yeah, from there. So I want to thank um, the author of the Nordic Guide. Um, let's see, I must have set a um, thank you somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Um, so that's the reason why I also picked some of these mods in that specific load order. Let's see, I do only have the main file, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check, yep, okay. So that means we can just add that file. That's number 10, Skyland. Okay, click on manual, set this as your data directory, then press okay, and let's wait a little bit. Then don't forget to activate as usual. Cool, then we do have, let's see, um, so this was Skyland, right? Yeah, then we have Tamriel Retextured, HD Texture Pack as well. Also comes with cool textures. We have to be a little bit careful with uh, meshes because sometimes what I had in the past is when I did install a lot of overhaul packs, uh, not only do they come with textures, but also with meshes. And sometimes uh, a lot of packs will alter white run as you can hear, see here an example. And if you would install other mods like uh, an example, a white run overhaul or an additional white run texture pack, and they if they also come with their own meshes, you can have really weird glitching, flickering walls, an example. I had that in the past, so I tried to take care of that in this tutorial, not to 
uh, interfere um, all these mods with each other. So it should be okay, but we'll find out at the end of this tutorial. So just to let you uh, know and to warn you, and if you want to ever create your own mod list or your own uh, f yeah overhauls, which you like, be careful with um, with with additional meshes because textures will just override each other. But additional meshes will mean that it will alter a little bit. Um, an example of stone walls here, the um, the uh, the exteriors, the models, and the textures are just textures, but. Again, it could be that those meshes might be interfering and it gets some really weirdly glitching uh, walls. At least that was in my case. Anyway, download the main file for Tamriel Retextured and click on it. And let's activate it. Okay, click on manual. And this is your data directory. And then press OK. And while it is doing that, we can continue to the next mod. And that is a really, really cool mod, and that is Skyrim 3D Landscape. Only the ground covers, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, so I do have the landscapes here, and I probably did download the ground covers 2K as well. Let's find it out if I did. No, I, did, I, I didn't do that. Okay. Mm, let's see. I only did download the ground covers. Okay, in that case... Um, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, um... This we're going to install later on, the real mod itself. For now, it's only ground covers as a foundation. That's now I remember it. So download the ground covers textures only. Make sure you don't forget to activate Tamriel Reloaded. Yes, okay, then number 12, 3D landscapes, the ground covers, because like I said before, we're going to install the mod itself later on. It has to do with it, uh, installation order. That's why uh, we're going to install the main mod later. But anyway, now only the ground covers. Let's wait for it, not a super large mod. Okay, cool, and let's activate it. And that's, you can see how handy the numbering is and we leave the original file name intact. So uh, when I have to so search something up here in the downloaded mod section, I can immediately check out the next mod, which is number 13. So yeah, that's the reason why I keep my numbering all the time. Let's see, um, so we now have, double check, landscape ground covers. Yes, so the next one is Mysterious Dance HD Skyrim. Click files, I think it's only a main file. Highest quality, probably a Mossy Bridge. Do I have that? No, we're going to install Mossy Bridge later on. I know that for sure, later on during this tutorial. But now it's only the highest quality uh, foundation texture pack. And this looks all nice, but I'm pretty sure these farmhouses are going to be replaced later on with ours farmhouse. But uh, yeah, for the rest of these textures, we're just going to make sure they're all covered. And for that, we want the, um, yeah, this file, the highest quality, which we did just download. Click manual, the pack has been set correctly already. And that's uh, actually pretty rare, um, we weirdly enough, but uh, it just happens. And let's just wait until it finishes finishes okay then we can activate that mod as well and then we do have hd lava for dongard and let's just download the rest of the mods uh let's open up these tabs just ice soul cairn hd southern guard hd skyrim 4k 2k landscape landscape pack 2019 which is really really cool and last but not least the billboards for skyrim se and we're going to use these later for lot generation with sse lot gen but um, for that it means but uh, that we probably have ugly LUT so far, but I'll explain to you that uh, when we come to that first, the other mods HD Lava for Dawnguard downloads the 4K version because there is are not many places except for Dawnguard where we'll see the lava. Just Ice is a really, really cool mod, especially in the Nordic icy areas. Um, I think I have the 4K 2K hybrid or what do I have? Just ice. I actually have the 4K because in the areas where there is icy textures, they are not really heavy uh, for your CPU and GPU um, because usually the icy areas are the only uh, objects which are there and there are only a couple of other things like an example, these shipwrecks, but these are very uh, friendly for your CPU and GPU. So f that's why you can pick the 4K version. They look absolutely beautiful. Soul Kern HD, just pick the highest quality. That's 4K. 
To be honest, if you play on 1440p or 1080p, I think the 2K resolution is usually more than enough. You can see some difference in the 4K version, but the 4K version is very performance heavy in comparison with 2K. But for specific files, you can pick 4K um, because, yeah, they're not really there a lot. And um, it's for, from my own experience mainly. But it could be that I did download the 2K version for this one. But it seems, uh, yeah, I did download the 2K version for this one for Soul Card. And then we have Savangar HD. <coughs> Sorry for that. And we can, yeah, pick 2K. That's 2K is fine. And this D is a great mod which I did discover um, only a couple of months ago. It has fantastic ground covers, as you can see here. Really photorealistic sometimes. Uh, they will re be replaced later, at least some of these with other mods, but um, yeah, they look great. And as you can see, there's a lot of um, stuff for the pebble or the, the, the roads. So it's a little bit weird sometimes what's overwriting what. But anyway, make sure you download the 2019. You can download the farmhouse add-on, but we're going to download a different mod for these farmhouses later anyway. So not really recommended um, no idea why I didn't download this farmhouse add-on but anyway yeah just download it and uh, just to be sure but uh, should not be needed and we have the indistinguishable billboards that's an important one so you definitely want that one and I think this is a vanilla medium which we do need now it's the vanilla with fifth of weather and lighting and the reason for that is it's pretty good for other weather and lighting mods and we're going to use them oh yeah enhanced lights and effects and, and the weather mods as well so download those as well and then let's just finish this part by going to number 14 which is hd lava so click manual so this is your data directory press ok activate the mod number 15 is just eyes 4k in this case Click manual, this is being packed correctly already, great. Activate the mod, simple texture packs, really easy to install. Solcarn HD, what is it actually, Solcarn? Solcarn it seems. Click manual, okay, also packed correctly, great. So modding can go really fast as you can see here. Southern Guards HD, click manual, pack correctly. It should deserve a donation for the, <laughs> for the authors of, the, of these mods. Um, why am I missing a number 18 here? Let me double check that. Did I miss something? No, okay, weird. No idea, I missed something up there, it seems. Um, number 18 is the 2019 landscape pack. Really, really cool mod. Set this as your data directory, press OK. There is, by the way, a DDS viewer for Skyrim and uh, all the other Bethesda games to um, actually view the textures so that's something you're missing here in mod organizer but there's there is a dds viewer an example if you want to like open um meshes and textures let's see if i'm able to show you that dds's are textures and uh i don't think i'm able to open them right nah i don't think so but then you could actually compare texture by texture and uh, an example hide the ones which you don't want and uh, yeah, but that's going to be very specific a little bit too specific If I have to be honest, so that's uh, not what we're going to do But if you're really really a hardcore modder and you really want to uh, Select texture by texture and all these mods you can do that as well. So that's really cool the farmhouse add-on Well, yeah, let's in install it They are going to be overwritten especially the textures. These are only textures. I think yeah, so uh, it's actually a waste of uh, installation, but oh well. It's okay, and we have the indistinguishable billboards. So click on manual and click on textures. The thing now is if you run the game until we're going to generate lots, which is really uh, late in the tutorial, your lots, so your distant terrain will probably look a little bit ugly. And um, that's okay, don't worry about it. It's going to be fixed. But in that time, you can uh, just play the game, test it out to see everything works fine. In this part, it should be because uh, we only install textures and meshes. And for that, your game should not mess up anything. Nevertheless, we want to test it, of course. So start your Skyrim with your Skyrim SE with SKSE 64. Run it, see if everything runs fine. And then I'll see you guys at the next part again.